Welcome back to Keys to Product Creation Success and in this video what we want to do is we're going to be talking about the 10 rules of internet marketing and we call them rules because you want to understand where the context for your product fits in other words where are where does your marketing fit in terms of everything you could be doing to be successful in letting people know what it is that you have and in having them come back to what it is that you have to offer now in, in these 10 rules you're going to find that some of these things are going to be familiar to you some of these things are going to be the things that you've heard discussed in terms of uh, marketing funnels they're going to be the things that you have heard in terms of marketing in general however you do want to understand the entire context for marketing and these these rules really apply to any product so they apply to your information product they apply to any software you're going to have created they apply to let's say you're doing things on Amazon they apply to anything that you are looking to sell if you are a multi-level marketer they apply to what you're marketing in terms of what your your company is offering whatever it is that you're doing these 10 rules are going to apply to uh, to internet marketing and marketing in general now the, the things what we're going to be talking about are, are is a system Right, is what is the system of marketing for small independent businesses and and these phrases are actually are not original to 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 this course they're probably more original to Jay Abraham who kind of coined these phrases and then the person who really organized them and put them into a system that they were understandable was a gentleman named Richard Johnson and he did a course and he's done a system called the hidden marketing assets uh, system and that system is really uh, uh, J. Abraham's uh, J. Abraham's overview on marketing, where he really captured everything that a small business could possibly be doing to get the word out about their product and uh, and and whatever it is that they're offering. Michael Sinoff then took that program from Richard Johnson, the HMA program, and actually put it online and made it available uh, to marketers, in particular to consultants who are working with small business. Now, these are the principles uh, of all marketing systems that work on their own. So, in other words, if, if you have the things that we're going to be talking about in this, in, this, in this system, you have everything that you could possibly have uh, working together in order to get the word out about your product. So, you, 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 you want to have these things, right, as many of these things uh, as you can working in the system. So, in other words, no one aspect of marketing is going to do everything it can do to give you profit on what it is that you're selling right and that that's regardless of what it is that that your your product or service is now the first the first aspect that that we want to talk about you may have heard before it's called unique selling proposition and it basically means what is it that your product or your service your brand does that someone cannot get elsewhere so so you should have for every product uh, when you bring it to market it should have something that people cannot get elsewhere if it, it and in if it's going to sell quickly right if you want it to sell effectively it should be something that someone wants so your USP doesn't matter if it's something that's unique but no one wants what is unique right so uh, you need to have something that's unique to uh, the marketplace they can't get it any place else and it should be something that uh, people actually care about something that people want that's what unique selling proposition is the second thing is that you should have in any marketing system that you're putting together you should have upsells and cross sells so in other words upsells and cross sells allow your customer to enjoy what it is you're offering faster and 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 better so in other words what can you do to get your your customer into your product or service faster what can they you what can they do to enjoy it more or what else do they need in order to make it actually work extremely well so if you think about it uh, if you have let's say you you, you buy a vacuum cleaner um, one of the things that you might want to buy is an attachment right that allow you to that allow you to do uh, certain aspects of the carpet maybe you want to get an attachment that will allow you to do uh, your uh, your, uh, your 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 upholstery or your your uh, your living room furniture so in other words what can you sell across and what what can you sell up so what will help them to enjoy it more and then what on what else can you sell to them that they might actually be able to do more with your product so upsells and cross sells you should always be able to have something that you can offer your customer at the point of sale and that's what an upsell or cross sell is 
So you are actually giving them the opportunity to buy something that will make them uh, feel as if they're getting more value from their original purchase. Okay, the third rule of internet marketing is list building. So in other words, you should be capturing your customer's contact data so that you can contact them again. Um, you've already heard that the money is in the list. Uh, you need to be able to have a way of contacting people so that you can offer them more, uh, so that you can offer them, uh, let's say, things that will give them more satisfaction and ultimately things that are going to make you more money. List building is very important because it allows you to build a relationship with your customers. Marketing alliances. So in other words, what can you do with someone else who has a similar customer base but is not in competition with you? Now, in Internet marketing, this is one of the phenomenal things about creating digital products is you can have people actually creating with you but uh, in, in uh, competition with you but willing to, to, uh, to promote your product. Right, so there isn't a lot of competition in internet marketing, even in uh, cases where you have uh, products that are in similar areas. So, if you were, if you are a, a PLR creator, right, you can actually uh, promote other PLR creators because even if someone has two or three products on, uh, let's say, a LinkedIn uh, subject, they could use all three of those products to create something that would be of value to them. Right. So so in most cases in Internet marketing, there isn't a lot of competition. So having uh, alliances, having JVs uh, to work with you to promote your product to their uh, their list is a great way for you to be able to expand your customer base and for you to be able to have more to sell to more people. So alliances, and again, this you can do JVs and uh, and and uh, and affiliate relationships in any business relationship in any in any business niche. Right, this is not just the online niche that you can do this in. Paid advertising, right? That this is this is one way to scale your business, and in fact, it's very difficult to scale your business without doing some kind of paid advertising. So once you find out where your best conversions are and you have something that's working, it's time to start taking some of your profit and putting it into paid advertising so that you can actually buy. Right, buy more sales. Are you paying out money in advertising fees? Yes. But if you're clearing your advertising costs and making profit, then you can do this again and again and again. So in other words, you are then only limited to what you can spend. And if you can spend right from your profit, you will then start to scale your business in a way that you could not do if you were just using free traffic and your own efforts. Right, so paid advertising is a way and it's something that is necessary if you're going to get your business up to the point where it can it is maximizing its profit. Public relations. So in other words, what can you do so that the press is working for you? Right. And, and, and in some cases, you've probably seen where some people will have, you know, as seen on NBC or as seen on CBS. And that's that's a that's a small aspect of, of public relations but to actually be on television right even though uh, the internet has has consumed a lot of advertising dollars and attention there's nothing like being on television there's nothing like being interviewed on the news there's nothing like being featured on uh, in the uh, in the public eye in a newspaper in a magazine uh, there's nothing like it and it is something that if you can do it will will benefit not only your business but your product and your service Community marketing and education. So in other words, what you're doing in your local area and what you're doing to, to uh, educate people. Uh, some of what you need to be doing is educating people using webinars, right? And education basically means that you're giving people information. Now, again, most of what we do in marketing and information marketing is sales. So in other words, we're really uh, working on the pain points of people. But when I talk about education, I mean giving people information that's really going to help them to make good decisions. So you're so you you could be looking to twist it. Uh, into a sale, but you are basically, for the most part, giving people solid information to make good decisions. And of course, the end of that decision is going to be your product or service, right? Direct marketing and copywriting. So this is where you're using the elements of direct response in order to get people to respond to you now to what it is you're offering. So, so, so the the the, the most basic element of selling something, whether it's online whether it is uh, through uh, direct mail, 
whether or not it's on television through an infomercial, you, you want to have elements of direct marketing, direct response and copywriting. That means you've got a headline. That means you've got, uh, you've got, you've got the story. You've got scarcity. All those elements of copywriting. You want to make sure that those things are in operation in terms of selling your product or service. Content and publishing. So when you are a paid, when you are an author, right? When you can be an author, when you can be a, uh, when you can say that you're a best-selling author, you are are considered to be an expert on the subject. This will actually boost what it is that you're trying to sell. You increase the value of what it is that you're trying to sell. When someone else uh, verifies that you are an author and that you have written on something, our culture still values authors. Right, so so one of the things that that you can do in your niche or on the subject or in whatever it is you're selling is you can write a book, or have someone write a book, right, from your company. Okay, and then comes all the internet stuff, SEO and social media and all the things that we do to get traffic. So so these are all the things that we can be doing to market our product. All the internet stuff, you know, all the things that we do, and as you can see. You know, getting on social media and doing those things, that this is a small part of what we can be doing to market our product. And these are all things that can be working together in a system of things that will make your product sell faster and will make your product sell to people that actually want it. Okay, so so these are the 10 things that, again, you want to build a system around. We could probably talk about each and every one of these things in an entire course to really break it down. But in this particular case, we want to take these things and use them in our che- in a checklist for our product to consider, are there ways that we can exercise these 10 things in order to uh, maximize the marketing that we're doing on our product or our service? Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in the next video.